Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the front of your screen, you see a question that I displayed there, and the question goes this way. It says, using superposition theorem, calculate the current flowing in each branch of the circuit, right? So, if you look at it very well, this is a circuit, right? And this circuit, we have three different source, voltage source. One of the source here is the 26 volts, the other, the 18 volts, and the other one, 12 volts. And we have five resistors here that have resistance of 0 0.5 ohms, 5 ohms, 4 ohms, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 ohms, and 0 0.25 ohms, right? And we are told to look for each of the branch currents. Now, if this source here, the longer side is positive and the shorter side here is negative. And we know current flows from a lower potential to a higher potential, right? So I'm going to term this as my what? My I1. Now, if you look at this also, this is also the shorter one here, negative and what? Positive, right? Current flows from a low potential to high potential. So I'll call this to be my I2. Right? Now, if you look at this closely, this is the longer one, this is the shorter one. So this will be negative and this will be what? positive right and current flows from lower potential to higher potential so what will be flowing here will be what my i3 is that again now this is the first thing we'll do now we know the current are coming in i want to know each of the branch current I want to know what i1 is i2 is and i3 is using the superposition theorem so the first thing you do the step one so what the term is just telling us that if you have two or more source, you need to circuit each of those source and leave in one in operation. Like since I have three here, I will circuit two of it, I will leave one in operation. Then I will circuit another two again, I will leave another in operation until I've taken each of them. Right? So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to short circuit the 18 volt source and the 12 volt source. So write it out. Short circuit. Short circuit. The 18 volts and 12 volts source, voltage source. Right? So when I do that, I will now redraw, and this is what I will be having. Now if you look closely, I have short circuit the 18 volts, meaning I have replaced it with what? A wire. And the 12 volts, I replace it with what? With a wire, right? So the only source in operation is the what? 26 volts. Is that the key? So I will now call this current flowing through here to be my I1. Now, now put prime on it to differentiate it from what we have here, right? Now, I'll come here also. I'll come and do this. This will be... Since this is the one providing the current from the negative lower potential to what? High potential. Everything will be flowing in this direction, right? So I'll be having my current flowing in this direction. Not this, but like this. Right? So this will be my I2 prime. Right? Then this will come in the direction. And this will be my I3 prime. Because when the current flows get to this junction here, this node, it splits. I1 will go to this direction and I2 come I3 will come in this direction. One thing you need to know is that what? You don't have to change the position. Of the current since i2 is here i2 will maintain its position since i1 is here 
I will maintain its position. Since I3 is here, I3 will maintain position. The only thing that will just change will be the direction. Now, since this is the only source in operation, it will generate current that will flow. And when the current gets to this point here, it splits, right? So to see I2 and I3 going in opposite direction. Is that taking now? Or what I call it in parallel direction. So from here, I will not start. If you remember your principle of um, um, series and parallel connection, you use that to what to analyze the circuit. If you want to remember that, you can click on the link at the top right corner of the screen here and assess the video, right? But before then, let's see how that goes. Now we come in from this direction, right? Now if you look at this very well, I2 is flowing, it flows on this part here, right? So the same current that enters this resistor is I2, and the same I2 enters this resistor also. So it means that both of them are in series. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a symbol to represent it. So I might just say ROA to represent it to be equals to what? The 4 plus what? The 0 0.25. And this is going to give me 4.25, right? So the 4.25, I'll put homes there. So in brackets, then what? I'll write series connection. That is one. Now, these two are what in series. Then I can now redraw again. Now, if you look at this, I redraw this and this. I say they are in series, and I add both of them. I'm having 4.25. Now, both of them are now one. So I will now take one of the resistance, the resistor. I represent it as my ROE, which is equal to what 4.25. If I like this resistor here, can be in this part. Or it can be here the choice is just it can be anywhere is that the okay case now because this is like a single wire that is moving in this direction so if i like i can decide to put my bulb here i have to put it here also but i'm choosing this place depending on you now if you look at it very well i2 is flowing through 4.25 ohms right and i3 is flowing through um 0 0.4 ohms so what i'll simply do here they are in parallel because two different currents are flowing through each of those resistors i told you earlier if you want to understand more about this you click on the link at the top right corner of the screen now they're in parallel because two different currents are flowing through them so i'm going to put represent with something let me say i can easily use my arrow what rb if you like you use any variable of your choice so we're moving forward so my rb here will now be um my 4.25 parallel to what my 0 0.4 now when you're using the parallel connection when you're using it this is what you are going to be having parallel means you are going to multiply both of them. So this is 4.25 times 0 0.4 all over the addition of both of them. 4.25 plus what? 0 0.4. Right? And um, this is going to give us if you multiply 4.25 times 0 0.4 you will be having 1.7 all over if you if you add 4.25 plus 0 0.4 you have what 4.65 so that will now make my rob here to be equals to 1.7 divided by 4.65 will give us what 0 0.366 ohms 366 ohms so i cannot call it my rob prime so that is showing that I have short circuits. I've short circuit two resistors. I'm using the 26 volts as my what? My source there. 
Now we'll move further. Since I've gotten my arrow B, I will now redraw this circuit again. Right? So this is what I'll be having. Now if I redraw it again, if you look this closely, right? If you look this closely, these two now are now one. That is why I calculated them in parallel. I'm having my value to be what? Arrow B to be equal to what? 0 0.36 ohms. So this is what I am going to place here to represent it. So this will now be my arrow B equals to what? 0 0.36 ohms. Right? And here still maintains my what? My 5 ohms. And here is still maintaining my I1 prime. Here is still maintaining my 26 volts. Right? And here is still maintaining my 0 0.5 ohms. I will together. Now what do you notice? The I1 will be the one that is going to flow through. Right? So the same I1 that enters the resistor that have resistance of 5 ohms the same one that will enter this which is and someone that will enter this also so because the same current is flowing through each resistor you see they are all in series and since i am considering the entire resistor in the circuit now i will now be using my word my arrow equivalent will now give me the 5 plus the 0 0.366 plus the 0 0.5 is that the key? And this will now give me uh, 5.866 ohms when you add all together. So in bracket, I can decide to write series connection. Is that the key? Now, if I've done that, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll look for the total current that this 26 volts is producing so I write calculating for i total prime that is the total current total current right so when I do that what I'll simply be having here will be recall my v is equals to what i arrow and that will collect ohm's law right that is ohm's law which i can write to say that the v represents my v s this voltage supply equals to the i represents my i total prime then the arrow represents my arrow equivalent so if I put my voltage supply X here, I'll have in 26 equals to my I total prime multiplied by 5.866. That is my R equivalent given here. You can see that is my R equivalent here. So from here, if I divide both sides by 5.866, my I total prime will now give me 26 all over 5.866 so i total prime will now give me we'll be having it to be 4.432 4.432 ampere right so you need to know one thing note note the i total prime is equals to my i1 prime and that is equals to what 4.432 ampere and you'll be wondering why will you be wondering the reason is this the current the total current produced by this 26 volt is what i1 prime and that's still the total current produced when you shut open when you're only using 26 volts in operation that's why i say is my i1 prime is that taken now we proceed. Now we recall that these two resistors here are in parallel. Reason is that 
I2 is flowing through one direction and I3 is flowing through another direction. So we need to know the value of I2 and we need to know the value of I3. So we're going to apply what is called the current divider rule. If you want to know more about current divider rule, you can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here and you're going to access it, right? So let's see. Now what you do here is this. This is ROB, right? Let me show you from here. This is ROB, right? So I will just write that calculating, calculating for I2 prime and I3 prime. So what I'll do here is a short way to get that should be this is what we want to look at. So the arrow B, you remove it, you replace it by what? Your I2 prime. Right? Equals to, equals to. Now, where is the I2 prime flowing through? It is flowing through the 4.25 ohms. So you are going to remove it. Right? So when you remove it, you are going to replace it with what? The I total. And what is the I total? The I total here is giving us what? 4.432. So I'm going to write 4.432. Is that okay? The reason is that it is flowing through 4.25. So I'm going to remove it because that's what I'm looking for. So what's remaining here? 0 0.4. So multiply by what? 0 0.4. All over 4.25 plus what? 0 0.4. You don't touch the denominator. You leave it the way it is. You only remove... The 4.25 because of what I2 is flowing through it, I replace it with what the I total, right? So when you do that, this will now be giving me my I total here will now be giving me, um, will be having the I total prime will be 4.432 multiplied by um 0 0.4, and that is going to be. 0 0.381 ampere so we're having 0 0.381 ampere that is the current that is flowing through the 4.25 ohms similarly i'll come back here also i remove the arrow b i'm going to write what my i3 prime and when i move the i3 prime i'll write my 4.25 now multiplied by i'm not going to write 0 0.4 why because the current i3 prime is flowing through 0 0.4 if you look at this very well the current i3 right i3 prime is flowing through what 0 0.4 look at the direction is coming down this way as i'm removing it and when i remove it i am going to Put the I total there, which is what? 4.432. All over, I'll leave the denominator just the way it is, plus 0 0.4, right? And this will now be giving me, when you multiply all through, so you'll be having um, 18, you multiply 4.25 times 4.432, you're going to be having 18.8. 836 18.836 all over 4.65 right so i can now say that my i3 prime will be giving me 4.051 ampere so this is my i3 prime right so we've got an i3 prime so to put yourself to make everything flow, you now write that my I1 prime is equals to um, 4.432 ampere. My I2 prime is equals to 0 0.381 ampere. My I3 prime is equals to 4.051 ampere so we'll be visiting this again right so let's move to the next category 
Now, we have, we end up short circuiting the first source, as in we left 26 volts in operation while we short circuit 18 volts and 12 volts. Now, we are going to short circuit 26 and 18, right, and leave 12 in operation. So we are going to short circuit these two now. That is the second step. Short circuit 26 volts and 18 volt source. So I'll write it this way. That from here, I'll put it this way and say that short circuit, short circuit, short circuit, the 26 volts and 18 volt source voltage source right so when i shall circuit it this is what i am going to be having now if i shall circuit it it means that the 18 volt source here i will replaced by a wire and um, the 26 volts here i also be replaced by a wire we only left what the 12 volt source right now one thing you need to know my i1 still remains here but well, in this time now what will happen it will be flowing in this direction so this will be my i1 on output prime prime the i3 still remains here will be flowing in this direction my i3 prime prime then the i2 will still remain here flowing in this direction and we have what my i2 prime prime the reason is this current moves from a lower potential to a higher potential and when it flows here, it gets here to be flowing in this direction, right? So it splits at this point here. The other one we were doing initially, it was going to the direction that's where all the current were flowing in this direction. Is that okay now? So we move further. Now we know this is still my, my 0 0.25 ohms. This is my 0 0.4 ohms. This is 0 0.5 ohms. And um, we have this is my five ohms here, and this is my four ohms here. Right, nothing changes. Now we want to start. Now we'll start from this direction. We'll move from where? From this direction. Right. So when we do that, we will now start. Coming from here, these two source here are in these two here are in what are in series because i1 prime prime is flowing and this is why i'm using prime prime because of what this is the second circuit the second voltage source that i'm using right so i'm using prime prime now so these two are in what are in series so i'm going to represent with something i might say that what my arrow a prime prime is equals to we'll be saying five plus what 0.5 right 5 plus 0 0.5 and that is going to give me um 5.5 ohms right in bracket i can put series connection now when i do that i will now redraw again now when you draw now, this is what we have here. Now this um, two resistors have become one. So that will now be my arrow A, right? Prime prime will give us what? 5.5 ohms. This still keeps its position, which is 4 ohms. And this is still 0 0.4 ohms this 0 0.25 ohms and this 12 volts still have positive and negative so flowing this direction is to my i2 prime prime coming down here is to my i3 prime prime right and um, at this position here we still have my i1 prime prime that again now we're still moving these two are in what are in parallel 
because two different currents are flowing through them. So if I should do that, I'll just use something to represent it. I can still stick with my ROB prime prime equals to, and I'll write that my 5.5 .5 is parallel to what? My 0 0.4. So when you see the word parallel, means that you are going to multiply the two values 5.5 .5 times 0 0.4 at the numerator and you, divide, you add it at the denominator so this is when they are parallel so in doing that, this is now going to give me 2.2 over what? 5.9 and we're going to be having this to be equals to 0 0.373 ohms so the ROB is what? 0 0.373 ohms now I will now redraw again when I redraw these two are already what? already one that is why we did what we are doing here if I redraw this what I will be having so if I redraw this still maintains position 0 0.25 ohms. This still 12 volts. This still 4 ohms. Now these two now are now one. I said I can either I can either I can either put it here, right, or I can put it here. So I'll write it as my what? My RUB equals to what? 0 0.373. Right? Now what do you notice? Here my I2 that is flowing, I'll call it my I2 prime prime, is flowing around this way, right? It's going this direction. So it means that I2 prime prime zone is entering each of the resistor. The same current is flowing through each resistor. So we say that in what? They are in series. So now since we are picking everything at once, we will now say that the R equivalent is equals to 0 0.373 plus 4 plus 0 0.25 right so when we do that we are going to be having um we'll be having this to be equals to 4.623 ohms right so this is my arrow equivalent i'll call it prime prime right now since we've done that, we are now going to look for the total current when you have only 12 volts in operation. So if I do that, I'm going to redraw it here. So calculating. Well, I total prime prime, right? So what we'll do is recall you know very well that V is equals to what I R that is our home slot and the V should be the voltage source equals to the I is the I total prime prime then the R is the equivalent prime prime right so what is the source here that is 12 so i have my 12 equals to we don't know what the i total prime prime is but we know what the r equivalent is and that is what we calculated earlier that we have 4.623 4.62 or 3 ohms right so my i total prime prime will now give me 12 all over what 4.632 and that is going to give me um, 2.596 ampere right so when we do that we we'll add that note my i total prime prime is equals to my i2 prime prime which is equals to 2.596 ampere why because the total current that this 12 volt is providing is I2 prime prime. Did that get it starts taking? So let's move forward. Now, if you notice it when they go to this point here, they split. 
so we want to know i3 prime prime i also want to know i1 prime prime so i'm going to put it this way that calculating calculating for i1 prime prime and i3 prime prime so if i do that i'll now come back here again it's arrow b i'm going to remove the arrow b i'll put my i1 prime prime equals to now you now look where i1 prime prime is flowing through i1 prime prime is flowing through 5.5 so i'm going to remove 5.5 and i'm going to replace it towards my i total prime prime multiplied by 0 0.4 all over 5.5 plus 0 0.4 that will give me the denominator still remain the same 5.5 plus 0 .4, that will give me this is 5.5 plus 0 0.4 so this is going to give me if i should move forward my i total prime prime is um 2.596 multiplied by 0 0.4 all over 5.9 so this will now give us my i1 prime prime will now be equals to if you multiply those two you are going to be having um 1.0384 right 1.0384 all over 5.9 is that the key if you want to understand the concepts of parallel series parallel using the via rule you click on this link up here so 5.9 and this is going to be giving me my i1 prime prime will now give me 0 0.176 ampere so that is my i1 prime prime similarly for the i2 here i2 prime prime I'll remove the arrow B prime prime with I2. Now you ask yourself, where is I2 flowing through? I2, the I2, so where is um the I2 flowing through? The I1 flowing through. I3, because we are calculating for I1 and I3. So where is the I2 flowing through? It's flowing through 0 0.4. So I'm going to remove 0 0.4. So my 5.5 will remain intact. But I'm going to remove the 0 0.4 and replace it with what? My I total prime prime all over what is done will remain the same so we're having a um, um, 5.9 or we say 5.5 plus 0 0.4 and this is going to give me 5.5 multiplied by 2.596 that is the value for the i total prime prime which is what we have here all over 5.5 plus 0 0.4 will give you what um 5.9 all right so if we move forward we'll not say that my i3 prime prime will now give me when you do that we'll now be having 14.278 when you multiply this so we'll have 14.278 that is 5.5 .5 times 2.596 all over what 5.9 so if you move forward so we'll now say that my i3 prime prime will now give me uh 2.42 2.42 ampere right so this will now say that my i1 prime prime is 0 0.176 ampere my i2 prime prime will give me 2.596 ampere my i3 prime prime will give me what 2.42 ampere so we are coming back to this this is our value when you should set when you use only the 12 volt source in operation right while the remaining two are short circuited so the next thing we'll do is to short circuit the 12 volt source and the 26 volt source and leave only the 18 volt source in operation what that mean the next thing we'll do is what we'll short circuit this and this and we'll leave only this in operation so let me do that and see now this is what we have here i have short circuit i have removed the 12 volt source 
and the 26 volt source I shall circuit, shall circuit it only left with what the 18 volts now the longest side current flows from a lower potential to what a potential so we are flowing in this direction right so this will now be my what my i3 prime 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 i'm using prime 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 because this is the third source i'm doing the first source prime second source prime prime third source prime 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 if there's a fourth source prime iv right so from here this still remains that means if this guy is flowing to this direction it's going to split so what will happen i2 will be coming in this direction so this will be what our i2 coming like this so it will be my i2 prime 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 this one too will flow come to the direction before this in direction there will be my what my i1 prime 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 so it's moving so it means if here is i2 prime coming like this it will flow this is still i2 prime here is i1 prime it will flow like this so this is my i1 prime here so from here we move forward now just like i said when it's flowing this way right so we say that these two are in series because of what i1 is the only one flowing through 0 0.5 0 .5 and 5 so I'll say that I'll just use my arrow A prime 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 will now give me 0 0.5 plus what 5 and that is going to be 5.5 ohms right similarly arrow B will now be because of these two are also in series because the same current I2 is flowing through both of them so it will now be for, um, 0 0.25 plus what plus 4 ohms and that will give me what 4.25 ohms right so i will now redraw and this is what i'll be having so once i redraw this will still be the short and the long right so negative and positive and still my i3 prime 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 flowing through here still my i2 prime prime flowing through here still my i1 prime 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 flowing through so when you add this and this that will be my ROA and ROA is what 5.5 ohms then here will be ROB ROB will be what 4.25 ohms right so this is my 0 0.4 here this is what we're having now the way it is is these two now are now in parallel because two different currents are flowing through it in the name of i1 prime 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 and i2 prime 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 so don't forget so if i do that this arrow a and arrow b are in parallel so i cannot see that my arrow c right you can use any variable of your choice just for you to stay on a path not get confused so my ROC, if you like, you might not use the ROC, but to make your work uniform, this is what you'll be doing. So ROC will now be equals to um, my 5.55 parallel to what? My 4.25, right? These two are in parallel because two different currents are flowing through the resistor. So for you to use this, you are going to multiply both of them at the numerator right and you add both of them at the denominator so when you do that you are going to be having right so it will now be this will give me um this will now be 5.5 times 4.25 will give me 23.375 all over if you add this now give me 9.75 right so i can answer that my roc will now give me if you divide this by this you will be having 2.397 ohms right so now if you notice it this is what we have if i should redraw now if you look closely this you see here is this part here so this is my 0 0.4 ohms and this is my 18 volts here 
this is also my 18 volts here right so this is the longer one and this is the shorter one so this is negative positive we are flowing in this direction right this is my i3 prime 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 right so it is i3 prime that is flowing now because these two now are now one so one which is 2.397 ohms right so this is what i'm now right here my roc equals to what 2.397 ohms so they're in series because the same current is actually flowing through them here so i'll now put it this way and say that my roc right let me come and put it at this direction here let's come here so i can come here and do it here right So I will say that my arrow equivalent now. Why am I equivalent? Because these are the total current, total resistance in the world in the circuits. I only have 0 0.4 and this will be using arrow equivalent. So if I go there, I'll be having um, the arrow equivalent will now be equals to 2.397 plus 0 0.4 to the R equivalent here will now be giving me uh, if you have 2.297 plus 0 0.4 that is going to give me um, 2.797 ohms that will be my R equivalent so for the calculating for the total current so this I'll just call this prime 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 the third one right so my calculating for i total prime 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 right so if i do that i'm going to be having this recall recall v is equals to what i r which we know is our what our home's law right so where the v is for the supply equals to the i is for the i total prime 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 and the r is for the r equivalent prime 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 right so my v supply here is given to be what 18 right so i'm going to put the 18 equals to my i total prime 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 multiplied by the r equivalent is what we calculated for here which is what 2.9 2.797 so if I make I total prime prime prime, the subject of the formula, it will be 18 all over what? 2.797. And 2. 18 divided by 2.797 is going to give me uh, 6.435 ampere. So we need to understand that my I3 prime prime prime, my I total prime prime prime, Note that the I total prime 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 is equals to what the I three prime 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 and that is what six point four three five ampere because when the eighteen is providing the current right that will be the total current it is providing coming like this and that will be the I three flowing in this direction because we'll move from negative lower potential to what higher potential this is what we have here. So in doing that, we know that when the current gets to this point here, when it's flowing, it gets here, it splits, right? It's coming like this. this is how the current is flowing. So when it gets here, so you recover that these two are in parallel. So you come to one that is parallel here. So I'll just write calculating, calculating for I1 prime 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 and I2 prime prime prime. If I remove the ROC here, I place my I1 prime prime prime, means that where is I1 flowing through? I1 is flowing through ROA, which is 5.5. So I'm going to remove the 5.5. I'm going to put my I total prime prime prime, multiplied by the 4.25. The denominator remains intact. So that will be 5.5 plus what? 4.25. When I do that, so I'm going to be having... My I total is what? 6.435 
multiply by 4.25 right all over what 9.25 right or 9.75 is that the key so we have 9.75 now when you do that this will now give me if you move forward if you multiply 6.435 times 4.25 we're going to be having 27.35 so this will be 27.35 all over 9.75 and this will now be e equals to 2.805 ampere when you divide both of them together so that is that for i1 prime 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 now the next one will be i2 prime 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 so for i2 prime 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 i'll come here also i'll look where i2 is flowing through i2 is flowing through arrow b which is 4.25 so i'm going to remove 4.5 so i'll be leaving 5.5 intact Multiply by the i total prime 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 all over what um 5.5 plus 4.25 is that again and this is going to give me and this is going to give me 5.5 multiplied by 6.435 that is it i total prime 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 all over we have 9.75 so if you do the needful my i2 prime 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 will now give me um the i2 prime 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 will now be will now give me three point what six three ampere so this is what we have here right when you multiply 5.5 times 6.435 you are going to be having 35.393 if you divide by 9.75 you having what 3.63 so i will now write that I'm not right that um, my I my I one prime 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 will now be equals to if you look at the I one prime 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 that will be equals to um, two point eight zero five two point eight zero five ampere the I two prime 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 will now give me three point 63 ampere the i3 prime 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 will give us what 6.435 ampere so this is all what we have here now the next we want to calculate for is the resultant current right now if i pick up um, what we have here for i1 right we calculated for i1 this is the resultant current here i1 and i said it is 7.061 how now, if you look at this I1 here, it is facing the right, right? And also, if you look at I3, if you look at I, I13 here, this one here, I1 prime 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 and I1 prime, they are both facing the same direction. So, I'm going to add them. So, it means that here will be I1 prime plus I1 prime prime prime. Now, if you look at the other one, which is um, I3 or I2, and you see I1 prime prime, right? It's going towards the left, opposite direction. That means I'm going to subtract it. I1 prime prime. You get the logic? These two are facing the same direction. I'm adding them. But this one is facing opposite direction so i'm subtracting it now similarly if i go to i2 right let's see for i2 what do you notice i2 prime is facing the right here don't mistake this it's going towards the right mm -hmm. i2 prime is facing the right then if you check here i2 prime prime is facing the left then if you check here, we have I2 prime 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 is facing the left. So I2 prime 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 and I2 prime prime are facing the direction. So I'm going to add them. So I2 prime prime plus I2 prime prime prime, they are facing the same direction. Then both my I2 prime is facing opposite direction, just like what you can see here. I2 prime is facing opposite what? direction right so that is my i2 now the next thing we'll do here 
this is the i2 prime prime face knuckle direction here so that is why we do what we did now the next one is i3 now so go to i3 let's see if i move here i check my i3 is going down right the next i3 also i3 prime prime is also going down and the final i3 prime 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 is going down so they are all going the same direction so i'm going to add everything so for i3 i'm going to be adding i1 prime plus i1 i i3 prime right plus i3 prime prime plus i3 prime 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 so i'll add the three of them so by the time i add them so let's start adding them now so if you add i1 prime plus i1 prime prime so what is the i1 prime let's see the i1 prime that we have here my i1 prime that i have here is giving us 4.432 so i'm going to put it this will now be equals to 4.432 right plus the i1 prime 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 so i1 prime 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 and that will give me um 2.805 right so i have um 2.805 minus i1 prime prime so i1 prime prime giving us what 0 0.176 so 0 0.176 so if you do the needful what you'll be having here your i1 will now be giving us what 7.061 7.061 ampere then for i2 so i2 prime prime here I2 prime prime is giving us what? 2.596. We have 2.596 plus I2 prime prime prime. I2 prime 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 is giving us 3.63. So 3.63 minus I2 prime is giving us what? 0 0.381. So if I do the need for here, I am going to be having 5. Point 845 to have 5.845 ampere right now the next one that we have here is i3 prime so i3 prime here is giving us what 4.051 to have 4.051 plus i3 prime prime is giving us what 2.42 to have 2.42 plus i3 prime 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 and that's giving us as what 6.435 6.435 right when you add all together you are going to be having 12.906 ampere here so this is the resultant current of each of the current you have there so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching